Hi everyone. So today we're gonna talk about the weak tree function. So I've uh, made several videos about the regular tree function, the strong tree function. However, I never talk about the weak tree, and there's not a lot of uh, videos or articles about the weak tree as well. So I decided to make one. Um, so let's get started. So what is the weak tree function? Of course, it's related to the regular strong tree. Uh, but it's of course not the same. So the definition is that uh, it is defined as the length of the longest sequence of one labeled or unlabeled trees such that so there are two rules such that the first one every tree at position k for all k has no more than k plus n vertices. And the second rule is that no tree is homophobically embeddable into any tree following it in the sequence. So only two rules um, so far not doesn't seem to be too difficult to understand. Um, so here in this case, label, it can also, you can try to interpret it as color because the regular tree, it, you know, some people define it as color or label. Um, but this one is basically, you can say one color or unlabeled. So it doesn't really relate it to color. Uh, you know, that's the main difference between uh, the regular tree and the weak tree. So therefore, as you can see here, these are not color. Otherwise, I would have used colored pen. Um, so again, very similar to the regular tree. So we can look at some examples to see what these two rules mean. So first of all, Weak tree 1 is equal to 2, um, and weak tree 2 is equal to 5. So as if you remember the regular tree uh, with color, you know, uh, tree 1 is 1, tree 2 is 3. But this is actually slightly bigger than the regular tree. So first of all, well, let's look at tree 1. So this is tree 1 over here, which is equal to 2. So this is the only um, answer. There's only one solution to this. Uh, so first of all, um, every tree at position K, so let's say this one, this is position 1, you can have no more than K plus N vertices. So in this case, uh, position 1, so N is 1, so tree N. So tree 1, that means N is 1. <coughs> so the first, this thing over here uh, for position 1, this is position 1, you cannot have more than one plus one vertices. So you cannot have more than two. So this dot, I guess uh, each dot is considered to be one vertice or some people call that node. So you cannot have more than two vertices over here. Um, that's why you cannot have three. You can only have one or two, but not more than two. That's the definition. So of course you have to look for the longest sequence. So if you start at one node, then tree one is equal to one, but that's not the longest game you can play. You have to find the longest Gain. That's why you have to start with two vertices. Um, and then what's the next one? The second position, um, you can only write one vertice because um, this thing, uh, because of rule number two. So no tree is embeddable into the tree following it in the sequence. So this thing cannot be embeddable or it cannot be contained in this thing over here. So obviously this thing is not in this one. So some people are confused. Uh, same for the regular tree. They thought the odd, the opposite. So they thought that um, this one cannot be contained in this one, which is not true. The rule says that this, the first one cannot be contained in the next one or, or anything after that. Not the other way around. Because some people ask me why you can do this, because this one obviously is included in this one, but you know, they just uh, misunderstand. Is the first one cannot be contained in the second one, or the second one cannot be contained in the third one, or, or anything uh, following it. So in this case, this one clearly doesn't include in here. So that's why you cannot do one, you cannot do this one first because this one would be contained in this one. But this one is not contained in this one. So that's why the answer for tree one is two. That's the longest game you can play. That's it. Now let's look at tree two. So tree two is five. Why is it five? So again, like the rule number, I mean not the rule, this thing over here, this statement. So they're uncolored. So you don't have to worry about like blue, green, or red. They're just either one color, let's say blue or black, or not color. Unlabeled means uncolored. 
you know, same thing. So this is the long, of course, there are many versions you can play, but not, again, we are trying to look for the longest game. So that's why um, there are two solutions over here. So these two are the longest game you can play, which is five. So let's see the first position here. Actually, uh, you can try it on your own, see what's the longest game, but I believe it's, it has to be five, the longest game. Again, the first position, you cannot have uh, more than three vertices because in this case, um, you know, K plus N. So K is one, N is two. So um, therefore, you cannot have more than three vertices because two plus one is three. And then um, the next position, position two, um, again, you can, well, in this case, you cannot have more than two plus two, four. You cannot have more than four vertices in the second position, again, is K plus N. The third position is 2 plus 3. Um, so you cannot have more than 5, you cannot more, have more than 6, and you cannot have more than 7. So, you know, you're just following rule number 1. So in this case, this anyway, this is the longest game you can play. You start with this thing. This one is not contained in this one because the structure is different. And then this one is not containing this one and this one is not containing this one and this one is not containing this one or this one is not containing any of these you know same thing um so there's a second solution for the tree too so you can do this as well so the first position you cannot have more than three vertices because of k plus n and then uh, you know same rule apply so you can do this because because this one is not containing any of these and this one is not contained of any of these so on and so forth so that's why tree two is five. And then what about tree three? Well, tree, the weak tree three, you know, according to Googleology Wiki, is at least this big. So you can write this many trees. Um, you can try it yourself, of course, but this is a very big number. Um, so I, I don't think you can write that many trees even in anyone's lifetime. And tree four has been shown, again, this is odd. Uh, according to Googleology Wiki, so three four is already bigger than Graham's number. In fact, or you know, they show that three four is actually bigger than f of asylum, not of Graham's number. Um, f is the fast growing hierarchy, and then three five has been shown to be greater than this thing over here. However, of course, as suggest, this is the weak tree function, so it is much weaker than the regular tree three. So it has been shown that. The regular tree three is bigger than this thing. So anyway, um, feel free to leave any question or comments uh, in uh, for this video. So this is the weak tree function. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.